I spoke with Marisha, Sam, and Liam about their character class advice that they've gained from Critical Role. Do you have any advice for anyone that wants to play a bard? Now that you've advice for bards? So I get this a lot now because I am apparently an expert at playing bards, <laughs> um, which I never set out to be. But uh, so, I mean, I think no matter what kind of bard you want to be, uh, number one, you have to remember that you are a showman or a show person. And um, so you just got to go for it, let it out, whether it's singing or playing an instrument or reciting poetry or, or just being a performer. Um, and you have to kind of embody that. If you're going to play a, a real bard, uh, you have to be a performer or at least portray one. And then um, my only, uh, the other advice that I give to bards is uh, there's such a versatile class um, and you can kind of be any kind of bard you want to be. Um, but I would, I, I would hesitate to be, uh, to be more, more, than, more than you are. Like, you can do wizard spells, but I wouldn't try to be a wizard. Uh, and you can, you can be a bard that fights, but I wouldn't try to be a really awesome fighter. Like, I would just know that you're still a bard. <laughs> so uh, you can't do everything. And so it's, it's, it's best to be a well-rounded um, character, both from a character standpoint and from, like, a weapons and spells standpoint and equipment. Like... Have a backup plan because you're not the best at, at really anything, but you can do a lot. Uh, druids are a deeply, deeply rewarding class. We're jack of all trades. Big Swiss army knife is kind of what druids are. But man, can be ready, buckle up, uh, because especially at those later levels when you get access to so much, it can definitely be overwhelming. So I'd say don't be afraid to kind of do like what I've done with Keela at the night. There are definitely a few spells that I lean towards and I feel work with her character and her personality more that I know are good fail safe. So don't, don't feel like you have to be so overwhelmed by the like 200 plus spells that I think druids have access to. And uh, you make mistakes and that's how you learn from them. So be ready to, be ready to mess up go slow um i, I you know I, vax i purposefully have played against type this entire time i think rogues people often they're like oh i'm so shifty and shady and i'm a badass and i'm a criminal element and i have purposefully tried to be sort of like a boyish idiot i purposefully uh run face forward into trouble instead of hiding in the shadows um i, I don't know I've, I've had a lot of fun trying to subvert uh, what I think are just like the stock tropes of, and, and like a lot of us do this, Pike is not like your traditional cleric. She purportedly goes to brothels and uh, gets rip-roaring drunk. And I mean, she's, you know, it's not your classic cleric. And I, I think it's good to sort of push the boundaries and, and, and find, you know, pick your class as a starting point, but then find out who your, your person is. Um, but if you want to survive, then stay the hell out of sight, stay back, go slow. <laughs> Don't do what Max says. <laughs> Thank you, Marisha, Sam, and Liam for being on the show. I'm Todd Kenrick. Thank you for watching.